So I got in my car one day, started it up, and uh, turned the uh, climate control on the automatic setting. You can hear that growling noise. It sounded to me like a motor bearing. I knew pretty much right away it was a blower motor bearing, but I thought there might have also been a leaf or something that got in there, but it just kept getting louder and louder over time, so I knew the bearing was going bad. I got a blower motor. It wasn't that expensive. The whole thing was about $40. So let's go ahead and replace that. It's not too big of a job, actually. The blower motor is located right above the passenger's foot area. We gotta take the little plastic shield off there to get to it. So using a little pick tool like so, you pry down on this plastic shield here. Then as you can see, the little retainers slide out. Disconnect this little LED light here so you can get the shield out of the way. And then it just slides out. Looking at the shield here, you can tell that something's been in this. It looks like car wash soap or something. Because here's the blower motor itself, and as you can see, there's that pink stuff again coming out of it. So I'm betting you water and contaminants from the car wash is getting into the blower motor, and that's what took out the motor. So let's disconnect the electrical connector from the blower motor. Then we'll use an 8 millimeter socket to remove the screws that hold the blower motor in place. Now it might take a little wiggling and playing around with, but eventually, out it comes. So as you can see, it's definitely the blower motor bearings. When I spin the fan, you can hear the bearings. And if you look right here, you can see we've got some rust on it. I'm also going to pop this little cover off to see if I can find out what's going on behind here. See where all that pink stuff is coming from. And as you can see, look at all that rust in there. So we obviously had water getting down in here, rusted out the motor, burnt up the bearings. The blower motor still worked, it was just noisy. Now we'll reinstall the new blower motor. Basically the reverse procedure of taking the old one out. Now before I put this little plastic cover back on, let's turn the fan on first and make sure there's no more noise. And voila, noise is gone. All right, so I'm going to be completely honest with everyone here. I know how the pink stuff got in the blower motor and my cabin air filter. And I'm going to show you here exactly what happened. The first time I uh, first time I went through this car wash, I remember thinking about how good the uh, soap smelled. And I thought, oh, well, I'll, uh, I'll turn on uh, my outside air and pull in some of that... Uh, I'll pull in some of that good smell and stuff and make my car smell better on the inside, which worked for a little bit until the water started to uh, <laughs> mold in the cabin air filter and then it smelled bad, so so much for that. But what was happening is, see all this soap here that's coming down on the windshield right now? If you turn your blower motor up all the way and you're pulling air in from the outside of the vehicle, these bubbles are somewhat airborne compared to regular water droplets and it was pulling it into the cabin air filter and then the water was dripping down onto the blower motor and eventually it took out the blower motor bearings and then the blower motor got noisy. So that's what really happened here and what caused the failure of my blower motor as well as the clogged up slash moldy cabin or HEPA filter.
So when you're going through a car wash like this, turn your blower motor off or turn recirculate on so you're reusing the air inside of the vehicle and not pulling any air from the outside. Now you might be wondering where the air intake is for the heating and air conditioning on this vehicle. It's right underneath the windshield wipers and there's a screen there that'll keep leaves and other debris and different stuff out of the blower motor and the cabin air filter, but it's not going to keep everything out. That's why you have a cabin air filter in there to filter out the rest of it. The problem is soap suds and water can still be pulled in, especially if you have the blower motor on high while going through a car wash. So what was happening is, is those bubbles were getting pulled in, that soap material, that soap substance was getting pulled in to the cabin air filter and the blower motor and it pulled water along with it as well. And that's how we got the contamination in the blower motor. I'm going to do something a little bit different here. I'm going to use this same video clip right here in two different videos. So if you see it as a duplicate, no worries. I know. So I think the moral of the story here, folks, is if you go through a car wash that's putting down soap like that on your vehicle, make sure that your heating and air conditioning mode is in recirculate. So you're recirculating the air inside the vehicle and not pulling air in from the outside or just turn it off completely so you don't have to worry about having the problem. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you next time.